Hello everyone. Uh, welcome back to my knowledge share session. Learn with me. Uh, today we are going to continue on the same topic on cloud platform integration. So once again, welcoming back to the next set of videos in our uh, cloud platform integration security element series. In our previous videos, uh, we explored uh, how to do the uh, digital signature in the when you are sending a message of, um, by uh, iFlow then how you are encrypting a message using a PGP keys uh, also how we are doing the encrypt and decrypt the entire message uh, which are coming in the payload all these are we done by a groovy scripts uh, in the uh, cloud platform integration uh, but you see uh, but in the real world integration scenarios uh, there are often cases where you don't need to encrypt the full payload uh, which you are sending it instead uh, we will do only a certain sensitive fields like if it is containing any credit card numbers or personal identifications or uh, bank account number etc like or any other confidential remarks uh, only those things are to be encrypted while the rest of the message should remain readable for the target system that is what exactly we are going to do in our session today which is called partial encryption of incoming message using a groovy script so what we should do in this video is uh, we will see the payload we will identify the parts of the payload which need encryption then we will create a groovy script and selectively encrypt only those elements and finally ensure that the structure of the message it stays intact for further for further processing uh, with the uh, identified sensitive elements are encrypted so by end of this video you will have a clear understanding of how to implement a, a field level security in your flow using a partial encryption techniques okay let us go to the uh, iflow now okay now we will see the example uh, for partial encryption okay so this is my a very small json file uh, which contain a name and account where i am going to uh, encrypt only the account detail not the name okay so the output will be uh, like this so name will remain as it is only account will be uh, encrypted okay to do this how uh, what is the groovy script we are going to use it and how we are going to encrypt the particular uh, data element of that JSON file that we will see it okay now we will go to the groovy script in this editor and I will explain you all these statements then I will create uh, the iflow and copy paste the same groovy script and we will test it there right okay this is the groovy script so as I will explain to you these are the import packages which we are going to utilize uh, you know that this crypto is the uh, package which you are going to encrypt and this uh, this uh, this package is for uh, processing the message and uh, these two are for the uh, json manipulation okay now uh, the message template will be like this uh, groovy function message template will be like this first uh, first part is the reading uh, this you may be knowing uh, from the message using the get body function I will store it in a JSON body, right? Then I will be using a parser uh, uh, object. The parser object, uh, using the parse text, I will be passing this the JSON uh, body to it and get a data. So the, the information will be stored under the uh, variable called data. Okay. Then I am going to create the another variable called plain text. Uh, where what element I am going to encrypt so in this case uh, the data will contain a element called account so the data dot account will store the value inside the plain text so the value will 1 2 3 4 will be stored there okay. then this portion so this portion is uh, as I in the previous video I already explained how to generate these keys for the encryption using the AES method 
uh, we need to have a security key and a iv key so we can generate it uh, every time every time you gen you encrypt your message uh, it is best practice to generate every time a new key right but for the demonstration purpose i am going to use the already generated key how to generate the new key you can refer to my earlier videos where i already showed you in the groove script how to generate a new keys so that in even your, your uh, exercise you can replay this statement with a new generation of the keys right now in this place i used uh, the already created keys so the key is a security key and iv is the uh, the random number uh, to manipulate this encryption value okay so this string value will be converted into a bytes and store it in a key bytes and iv bytes respectively because the encryption process require the parameter in terms of bytes okay now coming to the fourth section yeah actually you are doing the encryption here so i created a cipher instance cipher instance using the aes algorithm and uh, pks padding okay and uh, and it it has a key spec that key spec which i already generated right key bytes that i i am converting and put it in a variable called key spec and iv spec okay these are the statement will convert this uh, byte value into the acceptable data type of this uh, method so finally in the cipher uh, will will initialize an object with a text called uh, encryption mode uh, and you are passing this to key spec values key spec is a security key and i will spec the iv parameter lastly uh, this statement will actually encrypting it so what it is i got said do final is the final method where you will pass the plain text where we store our account value here plain text and convert that into a, a byte in utf format so that is the required format for this to final so you, by passing this you will get a encrypted value in bytes then you are converting this encrypted value byte value to a string using the uh, base64 type and store it in a variable called encrypted base64 value so this is the final encrypted value right now now we encrypted the account field now we are going to put back into the uh, the json structure so we already created a data here right we received from the message this data right we are reading from the body i am putting back the encrypted value back into that with the same text data dot account so the data dot account account is initially stored as a plain text and after converting back the encrypted value is put back in the data dot account okay and lastly you are putting back the message in the updated json so json output uh, <coughs> object will convert this the new data to a in the updated json format and and in the finally the message is in the set body using the set body function the message will be updated and the message will be returned so when you use this groovy you, you will get a encrypted message okay uh now we will see in a high flow how it works okay now i am inside the flow now uh, so i already created a template so let me go into that so it's a very simple like flow uh, which where we are going to put only the groovy script okay i am not going to do any http adapter because i am going to test it via the simulation so i will go to edit i will create a groovy script the groovy script i have the template i don't want i will copy paste one in the groovy script which i already developed okay this is the groovy script so i will copy paste it now i'll apply it and close it and I'll save it okay. now I'll do the simulation okay. 
I'll do the simulation start and the simulation end. In the simulation start, I'm going to pass the this value. Right? So in this case, the account one two three four will be encrypted. So we'll let us see the output. I'll do the simulation. Simulation is successfully completed. So the before the Groovy script, the body remains as it is, and after the Groovy script, you see the body. See that account is encrypted. Okay. So you will get your output as as here, like this. I will do the this one and the different. This is how you can do the partial encryption. Suppose you want to do the multiple fields, and then what you have to do is the Groovy script. Like you have to keep keep each field in a different variable, and every time uh, this statement you have to do it for every field which you are going to encrypt. It. Right? And this way you can encrypt a partial encryption or a a specific field inside the JSON file. Okay, that's it. All right, and that brings us to the end of today's session on partial encryption of incoming messages in SAP Cloud Platform integration. Uh, we saw how to identify a specific uh, sensitive fields within the payload. We applied uh, the uh, Groovy script uh, to do the partial encryption. And finally, maintaining the overall message structure intact it stays compatible with the target system. Uh, so partial encryption is a powerful way to balance the data privacy and the message transparency, ensuring you protect what you need to say, what you need to encrypt the sensitive data and leaving the non-confidential data intact for the further processing and monitoring. Okay, uh, if you find this video helpful, please uh, do your comments, uh, put your remarks and questions and I will be very happy to uh, reply you back. And please don't forget to check out other videos in this series on encryption and decryption and put your comments on that videos. Okay, feel free to drop your questions. I will be very happy uh, to reply you back. Okay, thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Thank you so much.